He likes me looking crazy. Yeah, we should have up. That's yeah. what I'm going on. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. That's cool. You can do that? Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, y'all. We back for another video. Today, we're going to do what I would usually call a community thoughts. It's not community thoughts today. It's more like relationship thoughts. So for y'all out there in relationships and you're watching with your bae, I'm here with my bae for the day, you know. So, well, not for the day, but for the day. <laughs> I'm here with bae. <laughs> hey. <And laughs> hey. Uh, we go and do some relationship questions, you know, try to dive deep into our minds and things. We might have just always wanted to ask each other, maybe never did. But if y'all watching today and y'all already in a couple, you know what I'm saying, y'all little relationship, partnership, all those different things, go ahead and ask yourself these same questions and see if, you know, what y'all get answer-wise and things like that. We're going to go ahead and jump into it and get started with question one. And we want to go first, babe. On your... I go first. You want to go first? Right? Since I got 11 questions. Remember, we ask and answer. Okay. <laughs> okay, um... See you trying to play it. <laughs> it's like, uh, what if I was a spender? How would you handle it? Uh, we would probably separate our money more. So if you were a spender, then spend your money, and then I make sure we get the things we need to get done. Yeah. Vice versa. Which, yeah. Uh, my answer. <laughs> if you was a spender, we would probably definitely have our money separated. But like, yeah, I'll let you spend your money on your own shit. I wouldn't be, uh, I probably wouldn't be too worried about your financial problems. If you ain't worried, I'm damn sure not worried. Exactly. I'm so, gonna uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you do your thing. You live and I'll take care of my shit. Okay? Within your own rights, you know what I'm saying? You spend your check. I'm going to keep everything Gucci. Make sure you buy me something, you know, every now and then. With your as long as you buy me something. Okay. <laughs> frivolousness, you know, just buy me something. You can do right. Yeah. Okay. For me, my question is how do you find a comfort and relief on the bad days? I talk to myself about it. Honestly, I really gotta sit and talk to myself. Cause mostly, I be telling myself that I be overthinking. Cause most of the times, I do be overthinking. So that's really, I be having to calm myself down. Cause I be taking it too far. So basically, the way you find comfort is the way I deal with emotions. You don't deal with emotions. I do you with emotions. suppress them. Okay, it's not different. I gotta talk myself out of like not stabbing you. Like that's different. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> that's totally different. So you just pushing all your emotions down like they don't exist. That's totally different. I gotta talk to myself <laughs> out of not getting angry and being frustrated. It'd be easy for me to make rational decisions. Well, irrational decisions, you know, angry and frustrated. I let my emotions sizzle for a little minute before I let them out. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's not just like, oh, like sometimes it, I don't just be like mad for no reason. Sometimes I really be a reason and I be having to stand on shit. So sometimes I gotta just like, you know, think about the good days. Think about the good days. I mean, we don't really go through like nothing like too crazy to like really be like, oh, this is too much for me. I gotta, uh, but he do be pissing me off to where I want to stab him. But it ain't too crazy. So it's just like, bad days don't last forever. Uh, I guess I find comfort and relief by listening to music or making, you know, I like to make my song. Sometimes I got something bugging inside, so I like to just let it out through art. But if I can't let it out that way, then. Typically, if something's bugging me or stressing me, it's like an issue that I'm going to work towards solving. So my comfort is solving the issue. He's very calm and also I don't really care. It's like, no, I'm just playing. I just play. I just play. I just play. I do he care. Can. That's how, that's what motivates me to solve the issue. Cause I care that it's fucking with me. No, I get that. I get that. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. 
<laughs> um, have you ever felt bored in our relationship? In what ways? Whatever way matters to you. Like bored, like as if like we sit on the couch and just bored, or bored like bored with you. Yeah, I guess like bored with me, like in the relationship, like it's not enough spunk spice. I mean, no, we kind of be going through something every other day, whether it's positive <laughs> or <Can> negative. You- <laughs> so I don't really get too much time to cool down from it. Can't be bored. It's struggle. It's always like, something to do. Like, whether it's good or bad, like whether we planning something or whether we got some shit that planned on fucking our pockets up. Yeah. Or whether we just going through our mental things together. It's not really too many dumb moments. Yeah, no, I feel that. Sure. Same. That's my I was I have the same answer. I was gonna say no. But, um, I guess it's my turn then. You can't do too many things, though. You gotta give me some details. Okay. Okay. That was a question that I really wanted to ask, like, to genuinely to know. So I didn't really have, like, a response for that one because I already knew how I felt. But I really wanted to know, like, if you felt that way. But I get you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not criticizing myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what makes you laugh? My pain. <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> I laugh at my pain. Like I'm gonna cry first, but then I'm gonna laugh. Or I might laugh first and then cry. But my pain. Sometimes other people's pain. I got a dark humor, so it's just like some real fucked up shit to make me laugh. Like genuinely, like laugh to the core. Like like the no, Diddy shit that. is hilarious to me. Like. Oh, man. Like like some real like fucking like <laughs> seeing somebody like seeing like an old lady fall or something. I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, okay. I got I think my, my, my laughter is kinda I feel like similar to that. But mine is I'm like, a Capricorn. Like, we got dark humor. Yeah, mine is dark humor too. I laugh at petty shit though. Like it'd be like like how you said, like not really the pain like of what they're going through, but like it'd be the pain of like how it happens on like things be like I got hit by a car. I'm not gonna laugh because you got hit by a car, but like It'd be like, yeah, the car, like, the car, uh, like, it this, like, it, like, the car, like, uh, maybe, like, maybe he was talking to somebody, he was arguing with somebody, they walked to the street by accident, and then they looked up, and then the car smacked their yeah, I'll, like, I'll be laughing at the fact that you talking shit dumbass, first, and then you got <laughs> <laughs> like, why you walking through the street, talking shit, and then smack, like, I'm laughing at that, because it's like, dang, you got hit by a car, but, like, look at your dumbass. That's why you got hit by a car. Get that man. It's the karma. I, I, it's like it's the karma is always gonna be funny. Like yeah, it's like at least when it's cool. negative. Like when it's positive, it's like it's not funny because it's just like you know I'm good for you, happy, I'm glad that happened. But when it's yeah. negative, it's just like it's funny because <laughs> you deserve it, right? Like, you. <laughs> you really deserve this. So I'm glad that happened to you. Shit like that, or yeah, definitely like people fall me. I laugh at somebody like. I'm gonna try not to laugh. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm big on sound effects and shit like that. Like if I like if it's visually funny, I can't like like I one thing that'll always be funny to me, like if I see somebody in a fight taking consecutive hits, like watching their <laughs> watching their hits just keep going, hey, 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 hey. like the, the shock, the shock, the repetitive shock that they face me and me is hilarious. Like, man, he's still hitting <laughs> like that nigga is rocking. <laughs> <laughs> he has no time to breathe. No time to do nothing. No time to think. Like, <laughs> this, this is damn, damn, damn. Like, shit like that, that really funny. Shit like that be having me dying. Like, no, like, you just, I can't get the whole laugh on that. Like, yo, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Like, but, like, if I know that. I'm not supposed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, yeah. Like, I'm going to laugh. Like, 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 it's going to be extra funny. You in class or some shit? You was in school. You in class trying to laugh. That shit's gonna be ten times funnier. No hell yeah! Like everybody reading in class and shit. And somebody just say like some like perverted <laughs> word. Like, like, be like, yeah, uh, they fell on their booty. Be like, booty. Everybody just bust out laughing. Or like somebody fart in class. Everybody. Or some weird shit happened. Like when we just recorded that video and I looked at you, I couldn't oh help but laugh. It's just like 
Yo, when that, when that first man answered that question on them videos, man, that shit definitely. If y'all checked out the other community thoughts uh, videos, y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Is he 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 has some interesting answers? I'm not mad at the answers, but like, man, it was he, a delivery. I, I couldn't keep my face. <laughs> I could not keep my face. Like I was just like, damn, I'm still interviewing, still interviewing. But you a funny nigga. <laughs> like I just, then I, as soon as I just peep my eyes around, I'm like. Uh, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I just see her recording. She already like that. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> that's 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 I'm like, damn. I'm like, yeah, I gotta give it up. Okay. <laughs> I can't hold this. But, like that. <laughs> you gonna label anything. She'll just be dumb. He gonna see himself. <laughs> he gonna see himself on it. <laughs> yeah. Question three, man. Oh, my oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> what makes you jealous? Uh, honestly, I mean, it. When it comes to other uh, potential, I guess, and shit like that, that can be around you, that doesn't really make me jealous. It's more like nothing they do can make me jealous. Is what you bring. So you showing them weird ass attention and shit like that, that's going on fucking weird. Like, you like them. A lot of niggas going like you. I'm used to that. Like I'm used to a lot of people liking me, so you gotta understand that I don't like them. And I have that same respect. So I feel as though it's disrespectful when you start to show like and now I'm like, all right, you moving weird. Like, of course they like you cool. I like you, I understand. But you like them. Now what's up? That's right. What makes me feel jealous is whenever I feel like I'm not getting the most attention from you out of everybody in the room. Okay. It could be family. What if it's like it could be family. It is what it is. Family can get it too. Yeah, it's like I'm just, just me on your own. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. But I mean, like <laughs> some some family members is grab a lot of your attention a, per, a big percentage of your attention in times where i be wanting your attention i mean i always be wanting your attention like 125 percent of the time so it's like when i'm only getting like like 50 because you know <laughs> you focus on something else about me it's just like okay well fuck him like it's not like that i mean I know, everybody it's not like that. that's why i don't really like i'm the opposite deal. of chris you know what i'm saying like nobody, what? nobody hates me Everybody loves Chris, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just, I'm always pulled in every direction. I'm just there. And we're going to do, we're going to do our thing. You can't make a good day happen without Grill. I mean, you can make plenty of good days happen without Grill. But when you add Grill, it's like, why not add Grill? <laughs> <laughs> why not add Grill? I think that's how the people that love me be seeing me. So it's like sometimes you get pulled away. Okay. Either way. And I love the people around me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a one-stop shop. I am a one-stop shop, but like, I don't stop in one place because everybody's shopping here. If you knew more people, I would definitely hate you. I feel like you already know a lot of people. Like, motherfuckers just be calling your phone all day, every day. Motherfuckers, somebody different call this man's phone every day. It's around the same group of people, but at least one of them will call this motherfucker's phone every damn day. And it's just like, can I have my man to myself for just 24 hours? Sure. That's it. That's all I want. Like, I mean, the fuck? And then when he ever, when he answer the phone or he go see somebody, he he give them a lot of his attention. What am I to do? I have days where well, I just literally a girl. ignore my phone for I, attention and all days for ourselves. Well, I'm just like, I'm not going out there. And I won't even answer certain calls because I know that might be potential for someone trying to bring me out. So, I mean, I don't think it's all the way 100% like anybody can just give me a week. If you want my time, we got it. I will make that. But if you make it apparent to me that it's not bothering you this much, then I'm going to treat it until it's, you show me. It's not like it bothers me because I know that, like, you have a life, like, outside of me, and you got to give your attention to other people in your life as well. But still, it's always going to be that, like, uh, He's mine. He's mine. You made that monster that I got all the time. 
But no, you're not a liar. You're not a liar. But either way, like even you know what? Question three is: What brought you happiness as a teenager? Like oh, um, as a teenager, I was low key depressed. So I want to say probably being with my friends and stuff, like hanging out, doing hood rat shit in the streets. Like, <laughs> but uh yeah because for real I, I think most of my teenage years i low-key hated like my family not hated hated is a strong word but they got on my nerves every day so i would just rather be not home with my friends we're my friends always had me and fuck shit doing fuck shit so i was just i was having a ball really <laughs> i ended up Failing my freshman year of high school, and then I had to get my shit on track. That was around like 15, 16. And then, I guess towards the end of my teenage years. You used to run track? I did used to run track, but did I just say that? I think so. Oh no, I said I had to get my shit on track, but I did used to run track. Oh. I did used to run track. My freshman year. But I quit because, <laughs> because I thought I was running track. I joined the track team. These motherfuckers had me. What's the other one? What's the other one that's not track? Track and field? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> what's, the field, what's the field part called? When you got to run outside, not when you're in a gym, like running on the track. When you got to run outside, like on the track? across. No, it's like. In a, you got to run across the field? Across the uh, cross country, it was cross country. cross country. They had me doing fucking cross country. I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. I'm supposed to be running from this side of the gym to that side of the gym. This is not what I signed up for. They they thought I was about to run. I don't make any motherfucking miles. And fuck no, fuck no. I was not. I was not doing that. I was not doing it, and I quit. So that was in that. But um, towards the end of my, as I was saying, towards the end of my teenage years, I guess. Well, really, that's when I started working. So I guess making money. That's when I started have to find the love for money. Yeah, more money I made the happier I was. I realized that at a young age. <laughs> I can kind of get up to see the same things when it comes to either being around my cousins or friends, or having a job allowed me to get more technology. Like I started getting into my music more and. Just any other tech inventions I would go with. Playing a game and shit. So, money and family always been a big thing as a kid because money supported my art and my technology. So, that's, that's probably where everybody's feeling now. These teenagers probably feel the same way. Yeah, it's sad. They just want to make money. It's like Without the sad. money, I would say just art and technology, I guess. But since I need money, Without the money, it would probably be friends and family. So I'm saying, I, I really, I didn't hate my family, but they did. They was like annoying. Everybody got like tricky ass family members. But whenever we did like actual like family stuff, like I was. It's not like I had like a bad childhood, but it could have been better. I'm gonna skip a few questions because it is getting long. So I'm uh, we gonna be fine. That's number four. Number four is okay. Now I gotta pick. What is one trait that I have that you can't stand? One, I know it's probably <laughs> <laughs> just one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say, I don't know. I don't know. One what? Tree or Tree. It, it, just anything about me that that you just can't stand. That I can't stand. I don't know. Oh, that you don't like. 
Like he may be able to deal with it, but like, what would you? I don't change. like when we discuss and things like that, and we don't like when we discuss. I feel as though we kind of work for it, so I can't really say I don't like it anymore. So I don't really know as of right now when we discuss and how to build on the things that we previously can like. I don't know. But basically, whatever I don't like, we discuss. So. Nothing. Right now. Not that I can think of. Oh. What? You a turn. <laughs> uh, for B, the one thing that pisses me off the most is. Well, I guess. I guess, yeah, we talk about that. You want to say the same thing? Can I pick a different question? Sure. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. Okay, here's the one. Uh, what do you fear most about our relationship? I don't know why your water be so cold. <sighs> it's so good. Um, Thank you, water. What's one thing about us that what? What's one thing about... Oh, what do you fear most about our relationship? God, rain freeze, God damn. <laughs> um, I fear... Reaching a level of comfort. Damn. Yeah, I'm ready for you. Ah, that's some good ass one. I fear reaching a level of comfort that makes me feel safe and then having problems that end. Because then it's like being held in someone's arms and then being drunk. No. Nah. All I have to expect is, uh, I guess it's going to be, I got to a point where now I'm settled. Now I'm here. Now I'm like, I'm already here, but like, now I'm like, there's nothing that can change this. And then what changes it is you. That's kind of a fear I have in any relationship. It's just giving myself enough where the other person starts to stop giving. Complete. That's fair. That's fair. Um, what I fear most about our relationship is me getting fat one day. <laughs> <laughs> you just decide you can't stand inside to be no more, and you just leave because I'm too big. I can handle a good 50, baby. A good 50 pounds. He already told me. That Once you get to that too, he would mark. leave if, if somebody was fat. I would, would not leave if somebody was fat. If they were fat. Or fatter over time. Or got I would fatter. Leave if they started letting themselves go in a way of like. Typically, <laughs> not just like typically let yourself <laughs> let yourself go uh, physically. You can turn into uh, can turn into a mental uh, uh, continuation of that same thing, where it's like, okay, I'm getting fat, and now I'm, I'm less caring about what I'm doing. Like, it's oh, you already fat, so now you already. <laughs> Oh. You already know I'm talking like just the mentality of being fat. Like the mentality of being fat is like you already like everything that was like accessible is like almost doing too much. It's like damn, like I would take that walk, but that I, <laughs> now that walk feel like a run. So you like, so I really feel like walking to such and such place and doing such and such. And so that changing 
your mentality on just overall things and how it becomes to change you as a person, I think you in a different, basically, shape would affect who you are in our relationship. Okay, but if it didn't, then I was just fat, but still the same person it I am. It would also affect who you are in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? That's my biggest fear. That's my biggest fear. Don't let me get fat. Or have a baby or no <laughs> shit. Because people get fat. We don't have have a baby and then gain baby weight and then they get depressed after some like postpartum and gain all their weight and their body change and then I don't know what the fuck is going on. They get depressed. Just, so all of that could be them letting themselves go. You, oh, I can't deal with this. She done no, let no, no, no. <laughs> She done had my baby. Let herself go. I understand things like that. I understand like what comes with it. But when it's like a point of like. Well, this is a point of um, like your. Uh, like basically, not even working to get that. <laughs> <laughs> like if you just stay like that, and it's like <laughs> fuck it, whatever. Like all right, cool. I'm not. I'm not gonna like feel any way about you differently. But like the attraction will change because you look different, and I fell in love with a different leave? looking person. So I'm not gonna leave. But like overall, over time, you. Yeah. That attraction <laughs> will set in like more and more. Like eventually, I'm gonna I'm, I'm keep waking up to a fat ass. It's like this plan. No, so if the tables was turned and you were the fat motherfucker, I would be sticking right beside you. Thing, thing. Thick or thin. Thick or motherfucking thin. That table isn't gonna turn as fast as you think because I already don't want to. But it's to gonna be turn. Fat. That's the point. So I'm it's, just wasting my time because eventually, I'm just avoiding the inevitable. I mean, you want me to be my fat ass eventually? But that's the thing, like it won't turn completely because I don't want to be fat. So it's like if I see myself getting to a certain level, like all right, I'm losing my figure that I actually want to keep and I'm going to work to keep it and get back in line. So that's why it's like to me, if you start to excuse me, if you start to lose it and then you just like fuck it. I'm not gonna care. Like, okay, if it's like 20, 30 pounds and you really don't look much different, it's a little extra little yeah, in certain areas, whatever. But if it's like you just like completely like not really what I was used to looking at, then I have to <laughs> adjust. And with, if I'm not in attraction to that, then of course the adjustment isn't going to be much positive. Love is blind. Either. Love is only as blind as you want it to be. <laughs> that was my real question. My real, I was just, I was just saying that like, my real question was going. My real, my. It wasn't your real question. It's your last question. <laughs> you my to. answer. My answer was going to be. Uh, <laughs> um, my biggest fear is you. Um, just decide like you don't want to be with me anymore and leaving. But now I know that me getting fat is definitely a reason for you to fucking leave. So that's all that's going to fucking take. Not completely. Inside. I mean, not ASAP, maybe, <laughs> but eventually. And he'll leave me. It's, not true. it's a fear. So that's the fear. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nah, my fear is really just you just like just decide like you don't wanna be with me no more. And just like it's not what you want no more. And just leaving. Basically just you just leaving. All together. Okay. Not like based off of nothing I did. I, mean, I get that. I wouldn't do anything on purpose to work in, in that same like regard. You just like, get like tired of me or something. I wouldn't. I mean, based off now how this was going so far, I don't see much getting tired. Maybe first week. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't know. Nothing that you do is that fucking. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what you may do. But I don't think you will. But question number four for me is What memories of us make you laugh? You know what you're saying, okay? Okay, let me take this off now. But the first thing that just popped in my head is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> you're not funny. 
you're funny, but you're not funny. That's, that should be the first thing that comes up. The fact that that's the first thing that comes up is wild. Like, that was, that was so much. I said that in so much. Conflict. <laughs> oh, you have to say something completely <laughs> different. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Be funny. Be funny. Okay, we're going to have to. Let me think of this. Let me think of this. <laughs> What was the question again? What was the first thing that made me laugh? What would you say? What makes you laugh when you think of us? What about us makes you laugh? When you think about our memory. That's funny, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I guess I figured it out. I got the answer. That's why I had to say it. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> memory <laughs> That make me laugh. Honestly, when I be thinking about like what we be arguing like after after the fact, like after it's all said and done, like it'd be funny. Like the arguments we be having, because it'd be so like petty and stupid. <laughs> and I just be thinking about it afterwards, just be like, wow, like. We still be live. That's just that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, I really be thinking like, damn, like we just do all of that. It ain't even that like a serious like. I think what would be funny is uh, when we be fighting. Like, I'll be looking at it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll be in there. I'll be I'll be going super easy, and then you start getting there, you start getting a little confident. I start charging up, and you're like, wait. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, chill. <laughs> we're playing. I'm like, oh, now we're playing. She, no, she you is, start doing too much. Start doing you be too trying to try fight me like I'm a nigga. Like, I'm really trying to fight you or something. You be fighting me like I'm a gorilla. Like, <laughs> you don't even treat me like a male. You threw that pillow on me earlier like I was a brick or something. Like, I'm not a fucking nail. You straight. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna suffocate. This shit felt like an airbag. I'm like, the fuck? Like, we were from planes or a car. You know, it sounded like you were back in your neck. Like, you really hurt it. Like, <laughs> like I didn't even hit you that hard. But you be hitting no, me no. hard or like, was, or try to like that, choke that, me or something. From, like, that went from like a steep over pillow fight <laughs> to a straight car accident. Like, it should have felt nothing like a fucking. Airbag, <laughs> like it was just straight. They ain't got that in law of steering. Like the shit would have been like, well, you know, the little shit when the grenade go off, and you hit me. And then it had one of them. But that shit, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I know you didn't send me like that. <laughs> what the fuck I need to use? But then you okay. when I think about it, like, what the fuck? Like, niggas is goofy as hell. At least just be fighting. <laughs> just be doing dumb ass shit. Like, you'll come around the corner and think, are you ready? You really hit you with something smooth. I'll be waiting right there, like, yeah, what's up? Ah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, ah, what the fuck? All those moments. You be you thinking you ready to sneak me like that. Yeah, okay. But I'll be ready. You yeah. I'll be ready. Yeah. I'll be sending your feet to whatever you need. Your feet, you know. I can sense you. I can sense you around the corner already. You be thinking I'll be knowing, but I'll be already knowing. I'll be already knowing. And then skate. I'll be watching your legs. I'll be stuttering, like, oh, nah, I didn't know you was ready to do all that. It would be funny to think every time. You know when you do aggressive ass shit. <laughs> I don't be aggressive. I'm a flower. I'm, I'm delicate. Time, you choke me. I'm like, this is fucking wrestling. <laughs> like, like, oh, don't you do it now. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? like, even in your face, it looks very. Like, it looks sincere. It looks it like you was enjoying it. I'm like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> 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 I'm like, damn. That should be, should be fun to all the I think. I be thinking sometimes that I be joking you too much. But I don't be knowing. Yeah, no, you be you fucking knowing. Like you be sleeping like you can take it. Like, 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 Just die. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, 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 he,
for a dirty prime or a nigga neck. I think. I'm not happy about that. I guess that's the end of questions. I had like a little one more. sexual question. I'm gonna do one more because you asked like five? three thousand questions. I only asked the same two. amount of questions that you asked. Yeah, it's like two. What two questions? At least two. I said, "What do you fear most?" I gave you two answers because I was you saying. Said something before that, but all right. Go ahead. Uh, um, do you think I'd make a good mom? Okay. Uh, really answer that question? I would hope so. I mean, the way I see you with her, siblings and kids and nephews and things like that, with babies that I see you around, sure, yes. I don't see any uh thing wrong with the way you. Uh, I see typical mother and based off of the way that you are because the way that my mom or other moms or just the moms I see, whether they're soft, whether they're aggressive, different types, I see some of them when you are around baby. So I don't don't think you will be a bad one. Everybody has a learning curve when it comes to a baby, especially their first one of their own. So if you are like that with regular babies, then I think you're probably going to be like a grandma with your first baby. Just super tight, super loving. Because before Caden, me and kids, no. Nah. <laughs> like, it was like, if I had to, then I'd make it work. We're gonna, I'm, I'm going to be nice to the kids and all that. We're going to make, our, we're gonna make yeah. our day work. But I can tell. If, it's, if it's a choice by me, I wouldn't just be like, Kids, <laughs> I'm going to use all the other. Ones. I'm gonna keep myself out of that stress because kids is kids is different. But of course, having son, son is like that's my kid, so he's different. But <sighs> let's get past that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But yes, I think you will. That's not clear. No, that was very cool. You got it. You didn't answer. But you already know, so that was a bias. Like that was a question I can't answer. You can't answer. Ask. Do you I, mean, think I think I you're am? a good dad. I think you're a good dad. Like see him. I mean, yeah, you're a good dad. You're a good That's dad. crazy. I was gonna say, you know, I was gonna say <laughs> you don't have like that like super like nurturing vibe, but like you're a dad. So I have nurturingness to me. You don't have that super nurturing vibe. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> that's what makes you a good dad. But like you're you do what dads are like supposed to do. So because you're not supposed to be doing it by yourself. So if you were in a two parent home if he was in a two parent like home oh, yeah. and he would get like dad and mom like together. But he, yeah, I mean, he gets dad and mom. You're saying the separate. balance is even there within the separation. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, assuming that his mother is very nurturing. Assuming, I mean. As nurturing as you are masculine? What do you call it? If Their nurturing is unisex, man. Okay, but what would you call. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call, like. Like dadding. Is he in sex, babe? Hugging and kissing my son is nurturing. Yes. Showing him love, making sure he is, uh, his, his mouth is clean and all that. After eating out, like all the little stuff and little things. Yeah. 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 On both sides. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> question number five, last question. We'll spice it up for y'all on the last floor. And y'all, and I was going to ask you what's on your bucket list, but since we're going to spice it up, what's on your sexual bucket list? I don't really have a sexual bucket list, but 
I always wonder what it would be like to kiss a girl. But it's not like something that I desire. Okay. It's just like, huh? Yeah. Well, see, with me, it's no day, so I can't relate. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love that for me. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> one thing I definitely uh I would say. That's a few things that my boy would have found. I got, I got a lot of uh, aspirations. You know what I'm saying? Let's <laughs> you know. Let 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 I definitely want like going on vacation like at a high rise building and like have the windows open. Like, in the middle of the day. And stuff like that. And like, some like like Las Vegas or something, like in one of the hotels in the middle of the city. Open the window. Oh wow. <laughs> that would be all the what type of like thrill do you get for uh, that? Like, it's just like, like just like it's like a power move. Uh, I guess it is. Like oh uh, yeah, I'm fucking my bitch in front of all you bad fuckers. Must <laughs> 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 me, I guess. I don't know. It's like yeah, I guess so. It's like yeah, it's like a on top of the world type feel. Like okay. I'm out here in the middle of this beautiful like location, and it's nice and populated, and it's nice scenery. But we had the high rise. We got our little. You know, our little vacation going on, and we just buck free with it. Like, we just on the counter, nasty. All <laughs> uh, that, you know, we got the windows over the kids. We free. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We, we won't. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got anniversary. Nothing all that, you know. You know. <laughs> anniversary is coming up. Mm -hmm. What's this? April? Next month. No, two months from now. We about to be ten months in this month. On the twenty sixth. On the twenty sixth, babe. It's the nineteenth. But yes. We got about a week left. <laughs> yeah, that's longer than a whole pregnancy. <sighs> yes it is. <laughs> you didn't have the baby for a month now. <laughs> But on that note, y'all, we're going to go ahead and end this. And I hope y'all enjoyed those questions. And hopefully, if y'all ask each other those questions, I got some good answers out of that. And let me know what y'all think and how y'all felt about that. And you know the vibes. If I should do more or less, what could I ask next time? Yada, yada, yada.